what some people call the Air Zoo part museum, part amusement park. I really think about the Air Zoo as an experience. As soon as people come and walk through the door, walk through the cloud tunnel, they're going to see, they're going to feel, they're, they're going to experience something that they've never seen before. The Air Zoo has so many different opportunities to learn. I mean, certainly the, the ability to look at some of these amazing aircraft, whether it was some aircraft back in World War I all the way up to really the fastest airplane in the entire world. We try to incorporate some educational components into our uh, facility, so um, we incorporate education in our classes and in, within our exhibits we give tours this is history of America, and I never knew about it. Most people don't that we actually had two aircraft carriers in Lake Michigan training pilots to go to war for landing and taking off aircraft carriers. That's how we're preserving. We're keeping these things alive. They've been loaned to us from NASA, loaned to us from the Navy, and we've really brought them back to life, really restored them to their former glory, again, for future generations to really enjoy. We're creating new experiences every day on our exhibit floor. We're bringing in rides. We just brought in four new 3D flight simulators to allow people to see what it's like to actually fly one of these incredible aircraft and not just see it, but to really be at the controls. Other museums would say, that'll never work. Well, what do you mean by that? An uh, airplane museum with rides in it? Amusements indoors? That'll never work. They boohooed it. Several years later, they were coming here to see what we did because they wanted to do it. You just come through that cloud tunnel and it's an enormous building full of planes. It's just a big wow moment. We're so fortunate here to have so many volunteers who not only remember the stories and really enjoy passing those along to our visitors, we have volunteers who have lived those stories. I mean, the airplanes sitting by themselves, you can go to any museum sitting, sitting by themselves. I believe it's the people behind it, the organization behind it, the, the ability to dream and fulfill those dreams. That's what I think makes the difference. It's the people.